Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the introduction to the operators and methods lesson. And so the video of this is gonna go right here. So what is an operator? Um, an operator, according to the definition, which I think I got directly from uh, MDN, is used to perform specific computations or operations on operands, which leaves you with about as much information as you started with. But to be sure, we've actually seen a couple of these before. Uh, the assignment operator, plus, minus, and type of, uh, it could be a unary operator with something like type of, where we say type of and then whatever you know the username is, which will give us string. This entire expression is going to evaluate to that. Or uh, binary, uh, which is to say 4 plus 5 requires both 4 and 5 as operands. Uh, there are many more operators. Now, a method is a function that is a property of an object. So previously we talked about objects and how objects have properties. Properties have keys and values. And so what you want to picture is that there is a situation where the value at a given key is itself a function, which you can do in JavaScript uh, and other languages. And so the ones that we've seen so far for that are console.log, where you picture console. Now you can kind of picture how this would be like an object and using dot notation to access the log key, which is to say the name of the key would be log. The value of it would be a function that logs something to the console. And array.isArray. .array. Now what array is, is actually a little bit more complicated than what we feel like getting into right now. Just keep in mind that these are two methods, we've used them before, and we're going to start introducing new ones. Uh, so, wanted to point one thing out, and we'll go ahead and open up Replit, uh, sorry, Replit again. So if we go ahead and open it up, I think I had this on 150%. I'm experimenting with a new zoomed in version on this, so uh, hopefully that'll be, you know, not too jarring. But if we scroll down to the bottom of Replit, click on JavaScript, come over here, change the settings to dark, because, well, that's the cool side of the force. And we'll disable code intelligence because we are going to supply the intelligence. So console.log some message type of, and then we're applying that to an object. So let's go ahead and pop that in there and run it. Some message, and the type of this object is object. So cool. Again, undefined comes out, but that's not really our concern right now. Uh, we are calling this function console.log with two arguments. First is a string, which is this guy. And then we're going to separate the second argument from the first with a comma. And we have the second argument is an expression, which is type of applied to an object. What happens is before it logs to the console is this actually evaluates to, as we see, object. Now, one of the things that we can do is we could actually save that to a, to a variable. So what we're doing here is um, rather than having that expression, or sorry, that, um, I guess it's an expression. Rather than having that expression as the second argument, what we could do is we could save that to a variable, which we're naming in this case type of operand, which is rather nondescript, but what we're doing here doesn't really matter. It's more to demonstrate a concept. And then we'll console.log some message again as the first argument. And the second argument is just going to be this, uh, sorry, this variable, which is just a two-step process for what up here was a one-step process. So we'll go ahead and copy this over just for completeness sake. And we'll run both, and we should see the same message outputted twice. We do. And I've been going over in my head what would be useful to say besides we're in good shape, because it occurred to me that I said that pretty much at the end of every single video in the course. Uh, but I believe it. It's a good thing to be in uh, good shape at the end of working on some code, but perhaps there's other ways to say that. So for this one, we'll say, okay, we're looking good. Uh, more on that later, hopefully. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. The videos for the rest of this operators and methods sections are going to be much shorter than the ones in the previous sections. And the idea is that hopefully, if you need to come back to any of these, it'll act more as documentation, whereas the previous exercises we've done were more introducing the concepts of an object or a Boolean or a number. For these ones, we're gonna be doing rather specific operations. So videos are gonna be shorter, there will be more. Hope you're enjoying the course, and we'll see you in the next one.